Hi world, it's quarter to nine in the evening on the 12th of September 2014 and um, I'm looking almost exclusively at Pluto. Tonight I finished all the editing or very nearly finished the editing, the third and final edit of my Pluto book is about done. Another couple of days it's going to the typesetter. I even have a provisional title now. Pluto Lore, L-O-R-E, Reshaping the Void. So, watch this space. Those of you who are active on my client database and those of you who have actively contributed comment-wise into the book, you're going to be getting an email in the next few days talking about advanced copies and they should be printed and in my office within a month from now. So hopefully the first edition will be out. There will only be a couple of hundred first editions and um, some of the stuff I come up with at the end about what's going to happen with Pluto over the coming couple of years. And our understanding and our perception of different states of psychological depths and different levels of personal consciousness. Whew. Some of the stuff that's coming up is, is well, it's exponential. I, I'm developing this theory around accelerationism that the rapid astronomical discoveries seem to match along with the population developments, the technological acceleration and the rapid increase in spirituality. It's all accelerationist and I do feel that the background of having the Uranus Pluto square at the moment is really ramping this up. I find it so strange that I seem to be bringing this book on Pluto out. It's been a two year process for me whilst Pluto has been opposite my son and now it's coming out literally as Pluto is standing still opposite my son now standing still in the next 10 days quarter of a degree away from opposing my son exactly for the very final time and it feels to me like this last two years has been such a process of transformation I hardly know who I am anymore I knew who I was and I don't know who I am now and I certainly don't know who I'm becoming but I feel a lot better about myself now than I did a couple of years ago two years ago I started doing the videos just as a laugh now look crazy world Pluto leads to transformation. It can be through elimination and purging and detoxing and purifying. It can also be for reformation and bringing more aestheticism and more subtlety and more gentility. Transformation need not be hard, but there needs to be a thoroughness around it that is akin to death and rebirth in everything you do. If you're born around July the 2nd or July the 3rd, or around January the 1st or 2nd, or for that matter, I suppose, with Aries and Libra, around April the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or um, um, October the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, then know that where you are now is the final death gasp of the Pluto transits of the last couple of years, and that the intensity is about to come to an end. There's a lot of changes now. Mars is going to leave Scorpio in the next couple of days, in the next 24 hours. Pluto's getting ready to move forward. Saturn's going to be leaving Scorpio soon. We're brewing, folks. And, and the next month or two is going to be hugely experiential. But in almost every chart I'm looking at, the, uh, the compressed wave of concentrated output that seems to be imminent will be resolved pretty much one way or another by the end of or the middle of November. And one of the big things I'm looking at is this Jupiter Uranus trine. And here's a nice little subject that hopefully I'll get round to doing tomorrow, which is a nice one to leave you with tonight. The astrology of hope. I found it. I'm going to bottle it and sell it. I'll tell you it tomorrow. Good night.